Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to show you a very useful online tool which is called Quick Calcs from GraphPad to analyze data, especially some chi-square data. So uh, here is the link to uh, this uh, very useful tool. And um, let's uh, just simply use an example for that. Now, uh, let's say we have done a little survey and we had 100 randomly picked people. We asked them about their pet preferences. 60 of these people were male, 40 were female. And these are basically the answers. So females uh, who preferred cats, 18. Uh, females who preferred dogs, 21. Only one of them uh, wanted a snake. Male who preferred cats, 20. Male who preferred dogs, 25. And obviously snakes are more popular with uh, the uh, male population uh, because uh, 15 of them chose um, snakes. Now uh, obviously, uh, we are looking at the males uh, who prefer uh, things. Uh, so these are here our observed data. And uh, what we want to know really is, is there a gender difference between uh, uh, in, with males uh, that they have a certain preference for a particular um, pet? So these are our observed data. And now we also want to know um, what are expected data? And uh, let me go back to that here. Uh, so we want to say what are expected data. And expected. Now we have a total of 60 males here. So 60 males and we have three categories. So if we, uh, if we assume that each category is picked at random, we would expect uh, for each category 60 divided by 3, we would expect 20 votes for cats, 20 votes for dogs and 20 votes for snakes. So these would be our expected numbers if there was a just simply a random distribution. Here is the web page uh, with this graph calc, uh, graph pad and quick calcs. And the question that we want to ask now is when we look at the males, is there any specific preference? And uh, to calculate that, we use what is called a chi-square test. Uh, we have categorical data. We measure frequencies. Uh, so. Uh, that's why we take this one, this box here, and we use what is called a chi-square test, which compares observed data with expected data. So press the continue button here. And we want to uh, do this chi-square test, which compares observed and expected frequencies here. Well, let's go to that. So here is a little bit of instructions and uh, for the categories we have our three different categories for the males. So we have cats, we have dogs and we have snakes. And our observed data uh, we had 20 males out of the 60 preferred cats. 25 of the males preferred dogs and uh, 15 preferred snakes. So, oops, and I pressed it too early. 
So these are our observed data. Now what are, are our expected data? Now that is going to be quite interesting um, because we uh, need to say what would we expect? Now we had 60 males and we have three categories. So if it was a random choice we would say each category would have 60 divided by 3 so we would expect if it was random 20 for each category so let's put in 20 here we would expect 20 and here we would also expect 20 and I pressed it again I pressed it too early so these are our observed data here and this is what we would expect uh, and we can calculate the expected just simply by taking the whole number of males which was 60 and divided by the number of categories if we don't expect any particular weighting for that and now all we need to do is calculate the uh, result and uh, the computer does it for us uh, very kindly and the uh, interesting part here that is this one here and it says the p-value or equals 0 0.2865 now the p-value basically tells us how likely or unlikely it is uh, that there is a difference between what we expect and what we observe uh, and uh, it's the nice thing of this graph pad it also gives us an interpretation here uh, and it says the difference between the observed data and the expected data is not statistically significant so that really means that um, men don't really have a specific preference for um, the pet that they choose. Uh, for them it's basically either cat, either dog or snake. Uh, so uh, there is no gender uh, specificity for the pet choice in this case. I hope this makes sense and uh, thank you for watching. Okay, so for males there is no do uh, there is no preference in pet. But what about for females? So here again we have our observed data and let's quickly calculate what we would expect. Now we know that we have that we have 40 females and this is uh, doing some silly things. Let's try again. We have 40 females, a total of 40 females. So what would we expect? We would expect if these 40 females randomly chose their pet, uh, for each category, for each pet category, we would expect 40 divided by 3 votes. And 40 divided by 3, that is 13.3 should vote for cats, 13.3 would vote for dogs and 13.3 would vote for snakes. So these are our expected numbers here. These are the observed numbers. Now let's see with our tool whether um, this uh, is what we would uh, get, whether there is any uh, pet preference uh, in uh, females. Now I'm back uh, in my quick calcs from our graph pad program and I've put in the uh, observed data for females and their dog pref uh, and their uh, and their pet preferences so we have 18 cat lovers 21 dog lovers and only one likes snakes but we would expect as we just calculated for the 
for, uh, for a random distribution, we would expect 13.3, 13.3, and here I, I, I cheated a little bit. I put in 13.4 because uh, it all has to add add up to actually 40 and even small rounding the program doesn't like particularly but there's not a huge difference between 13.333 um, uh, and 13.4 uh, so let's press the calculate now button and see what happens so here we uh, get our result and it says the two-tailed p-value equals 0 0.0002. Now I want you to think about this. Uh, and what does this actually mean? Well, it says here uh, the difference is considered to be extremely statistically significant. Now think about this, what this means. For the men we found that it is not statistically significant. For the women, we found out it is statistically, extremely statistically significant. So what does this result tell us? Well, and if you said that very clearly, women have a pet preference, they certainly it looks like as if they prefer cats and dogs over snakes whereas men don't show this preference then you answered absolutely correct i hope this makes sense and uh, you have seen how to use this quick calcs from graphpad uh, this software to uh, analyze some data uh, I hope you also understand how you can calculate these expected uh, values. You just simply take the number of uh, answers or, or replies to a survey and divide it by the category if there is no sort of weighting involved. And we will discuss that in a different um, video, what happens if there is a weighting in Involved. So thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully see you soon.